Hi, fine on it. How to identify? So, how to identify global? Yeah, so how do we, how, what are the basic tests to identify normality? Just asking that uh, some data suppose has given. Mm -hmm. So how to identify that whatever distribution it is? Yeah, so that is the data. question. How to identify normality? Suppose there is a variable which is not not normality, it's just asking that whatever distribution some data is following. How to identify that? So the most easiest so the easiest way would be so first of all, identify the properties of that particular variable, right? Then do a histogram plot. Right. Then, then but histogram. Histogram. Suppose uh, data is will 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 uh, suppose distribution or some other distribution kind of distribution. So histogram plotting will no, give that distribution will give you an idea about its skewness, right? You can make it with the right skewed or left skewed distribution. Yeah. So after that, you can do some kind of a non-parametric test to identify that which distribution it is following. So you can say do a um, a converse one of test, a case test to identify that uh, which distribution it is actually following. Okay. Okay. No okay. problem. Right. So. Yeah. yeah. So for most one of case we use one actual, we use the frequency distribution as one. And it will use the reference distribution as another line and then compare with them. Okay. So that is one way you can identify this which distribution is following. Say if it is a uh, if it's a binomial binary variable, like say the output is one zero like this, then you know that the joint frequency distribution would be kind of a binomial distribution for this particular variable. So we need to actually identify the overall uh, behavior that how is it happening, right? So how to identify normality? So there are three basic checks, three basic techniques. For a given value. First is the descriptive measures.
Next is statistical measures. And the third is the graphical measures, right? So in the descriptive measures, what happens? We look into the so there are some characteristics or some techniques that we use. In the measure we use <coughs> absolute measures of measures of descriptive statistics. etc. relative measures of location such as So, uh, statistical measures would incorporate uh, the non parametric measures of. Case test, convert into the estimation. Estimation. Then the estimation and the Berlin test. Finally, what we need to look into is
probability, probability plot. That is a PP plot. Number two is the quantile. So graphic I mean, probability probability plot, quantile quantile plot, etc. So, uh, is this part understood, uh, Manish? Yeah, yeah. So, what we'll do is we'll uh, explore each of these methods. Okay. okay. So, should we wait today uh, for tomorrow class or we'll go ahead from this? No, we'll go ahead with this. Okay. Because every time when you effectively doing this, then the class will keep on getting lagging behind. So, given that I don't want to stop, just let's continue, right? So, uh, yeah. we just have a class thing now. So, I mean, like, if you have any, I mean, do you have any problems in doing it right now? 
then that's okay but otherwise i am fine doing yeah no go ahead So the next thing is, so the next thing that we will talk about is uh, the descriptive measures of identifying normality. A normal distribution, can be a normal distribution identified so following. behavior of the basic descriptive number one is mean equals to median equals to more that is uh, the three major central tendencies will be uh, similar. So it's mean equals to median equal to more. That is there would not be a much difference between the three Okay, so the next thing is uh, mean equals to median equal to more, right? So uh, this is the first basic characteristics of the, the first descriptive, uh, first characteristic of the descriptive formula. The next thing is the standard deviation should be low. Should be low relative to the mean. Number three is uh, median must be the midpoint, midpoint of the Q1 and Q3 values. So basically the mean equals to median equal to mode, the standard deviation is low, the median must be the midpoint of the Q1 and Q3 values and what else. 